Okay, you guys, okay, you guys, I'm going to show you how to basically rip, I mean, uh, like, copy your, um, encrypted DVDs onto your, uh, computer, or, no, not computer, onto another DVD, obviously, so, what you're going to need is, if you want to do the fastest way, is make sure you have two optical drives, one that can read and one that can burn, or both can burn and both can read, it doesn't matter, um, if you're in a laptop, you're gonna have unfortunately you're gonna have to do the longest way because the laptops usually only have one optical drive so what you need to do is go to my computer and put in a DVD I happen to have Waterboy by Adam Sandler old movie but still pretty funny so I just inserted that right now also thing another another thing that you're gonna need is um, a software that could help you make data disks so it's waiting till this DVD program shows up um, yeah that's what is it scene player or whatever let me just exit that okay so yeah once that's all done uh, go to your my computer you should see title of your DVD. Sorry if you guys hear my computer in the background, it's kind of noisy today. So you right click on that, click explore, and that opens up, and opens up, it opens up a new window that has the files in it. Usually there's another audio underscore TS, but for some reason it doesn't have one. Maybe because this movie is like 10 years old, but whatever. So what you need to do, grab those two files, drag it into here, and then set the destination of the burnt disk of which drive it is in. So in this, in my case, it's in the J drive since I'm using uh, an external drive. So once that's done, I click burn. Um, you're gonna need to make sure you're gonna need to. It says here once that's highlighted, it's gonna say total size. So this one happens to be 3.35 gigabyte gigabytes. Make sure you have a DVD that's uh, that can hold 3.5. Thirty-five gigabytes right now. I'm using what is that? Four point seven gigabyte. So you should be all good once you do that. And click burn. So I already burned it. It should work for you guys. Um, it doesn't have to be encrypted. Uh, it actually, what am I saying? It works with encrypted and decrypted. So what you need, to, yeah, again. But if you guys are using a laptop, what you're gonna need to do is right-click again and then explore and then you just basically copy this or copy the folders that are in there onto your desktop or anywhere else that you remember would be and then once you remove that DVD you put in a blank one and then you burn it onto that uh, blank DVD with your software that you're going to need right now this one's Roxio Creator Plus um, came with my computer your, your guys it should, should come with a built-in um, uh, burning software or you, if you guys don't happen to have one I'm sure there's ways to get it for free illegally obviously or if you want to go the illegal way just go buy one if you, at your local future shop or Best Buy uh, might be expensive but yeah so now I'm going to show you guys that the burned copy actually does work so here it is as you can see I got the burned copy here and I'm just going to show you that it'll work I just recently played it, so it's in the menu. So, oopsies. Let's go to main menu. Mm, chapter selection. There it is. It's the exact same as the original. Um, I'm sure no one has uh, realized how to do it yet, like the way that the method that I did, but my method's pretty easy and simple, you don't need to install anything. So yeah guys, um, thanks for watching this tutorial, and um, got any questions, comment, PM me, uh, make sure you subscribe to that channel right there, Apple iTouch tutorial, tutorials, and Thank you for watching. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out, guys.